Let's uh, let's pray. Father, we, we just want to thank you. God. We thank you that you've called us to freedom. We thank you, Lord, for the liberty that we have in you. And Master, we, we thank you, Lord, that, uh, that we can live for you. We can live, Lord, even as you live in and through us, Lord. And Father God, even as uh, today we, we look at, um, we celebrate the Republic Day of our nation, Lord, of India. Father God, we, we pray, Lord, uh, that as a nation, Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for the, uh, the freedom that we have, Lord, through the Constitution. And I just pray that um, every leader, every uh, civil servant, Lord, will be every policy maker, Father God, will be mindful of that. And uh, I just I pray, Lord, for uh, every every state, for every Lord minister, for the people at the central, Lord, at the cabinet, and um, Lord, all those who are given this great, awesome responsibility and privilege, Lord, of uh, leading this nation. Lord, we pray for wisdom for the leaders. Lord, we pray, Lord, that they will not fall down, God, under the weight of uh, corruption or under the weight of uh, immorality. But Lord, I pray that you will enable them to make righteous policies, Lord, the right ones, God. And I just pray that you will enable them to stand for righteousness and justice and uphold freedom, Lord, freedom of speech, freedom of thought, freedom of expression, Lord, all aspects, Lord. I pray that um, they will uphold the Constitution and uh, we come against every work of the enemy, every assignment of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that let righteousness flow like a mighty river, Lord, right through the length and breadth and uh, of our nation, Lord. And we pray, Father God, for... Um, but your church to rise up Lord, and take its rightful place of authority with love and compassion and your wisdom, Lord, and to share the life-changing message of the gospel. And let many lives be touched, let many destinies be changed. Lord, yes, Lord, we commit our nation into your mighty hands. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Amen. Okay. Okay, so... Um, uh, you know, just to um, just keep you keep us all informed. I've got uh, some of you. Uh, I've got the uh, draft from some of you, like Kanan, Kiran, Prince, Aaron, and Thomas. Um, I've got the draft, um, but uh, but I've not got it from the others. Any difficulty, Sid, Dave, Neelam? Because this is a very important uh, draft, this one-page submission, and uh, about your, you know, the research title, and explaining how you want to go about it. Um, this submission is important, and so also all the other submissions. So we we need to stick to the date, right? So it was supposed to come in yesterday, I think, right? And I've still not got that, so. Um, yeah, so that I I really want you guys to uh, take note of that and uh, and finish it. Um, so from the next submission onwards, uh, there will be negative marking. Okay, if uh, if it's not on time, you know you will uh, you will lose marks. Okay, this is the first one, first submission, one page summary. So um, you know I I just want to. Um, just ensure that you submit it today. Um, yeah, so uh, Dave, I see your message. So uh, will you be able to send it by this evening? Because it's it's a one-page thing. If you can. And Sid, you also, Sid, if you can send it by this evening, that'll be good because the sooner you send it, the, the, you know, the, the sooner you can start with the task, start with the research, okay? Um, okay, so let me. Uh, I, I went through some of the um, some of your. Uh, I mean, uh, some of your uh, submissions, and I see that uh, 
you know, you need to be a little more specific about what you want to do. Um, okay. So, and also be, um, you know, your title would require some change. Okay. Um, because you're doing a research and uh, some of your titles would still need to be changed. It needs to, it needs to clarify what exactly um, you, you are doing, right? What, what is the nature of the research? Because um, like uh, Kanan, for example, Kanan, um, your, uh, the title of your uh, research paper says gospel between Paniyas, you know, so we, we can't use that as a title. It has to say something specific about what is it that you want to do with the, you know, with the, the Paniya tribe. Right, so uh, you need to rework that. Um, then Kiran, Kiran, your title, your work uh, is is the so scope is very very vast. Okay, like your your title, for example, let me just read it out. It says, "How can I reach the city, nation, and nations with the gospel?" Right, so unless it's a you know, uh, unless you've figured it out, you've thought it out, now this is going to be um, like a three-month thing, right? Three months now, we're in Jan, end of Jan, Feb, March, and uh, by April, mid-April, uh, 12th of April, uh, around that time, you need to submit that final thing, final report. So here, if you look at it, um, um, and I, I don't know, I, I don't know if you've thought about this, you know, how, how does one reach the city, the nation, and the nations with the gospel? Um, so, you you know, uh, you still have some time to, you know, think about the title. Is that what you want to do? Um, so, yeah. So, so, Kiran, can you just, maybe we can just discuss this in today's class, you know, about each of your titles, you know. Um, so, that way, it'll, it'll help clarify for others also and for you so so um yeah so first maybe we can you can ask kiran yeah kiran if you can clarify what is what exactly uh, i read the title but in but if you can explain how you want to go about this what you want to do then you know they will bring in some clarity yeah go ahead kiran okay the title I thought I have to change a little bit and mm. so the, the topic is uh, the gospel I want to like share uh, the research paper through mm. I want to write a uh, share gospel to city mm. and work within the leaders and pastors and mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, I understand that. Um, so this is for the leaders and pastors, um, some kind of a uh, strategy that you want to yes, you know, yes. think of. Yeah. Um, but what is it? Have you? Uh, is there something that you have? Like, what is it that? Um, that you'd like to share, that you'd be, like to bring to the pastors? So it's like a little bit like uh, changing something, like revival, a little bit like that, we can say. And uh, mm. some churches, they don't, they're, they're believers, they don't know about uh, Holy Spirit and supernatural work is still is happening. Mm -hmm. the, before the God with the Moses, like like that, today's days also God is working mm -hmm. within a believer, pastors and leader. But uh, today's time, some some church and some the believers and they they don't know about that and they simply they uh, to say. Simply they just moving, just moving and mm. so so your so this what your uh, hypothesis, no, I mean this hypothesis in the sense this uh, 
this whatever you are shared right now is based on some observation right you observed you've seen yes yes, right? yes now now where have you seen this um kiran like uh, is it in your in your home church is it in uh you know based on what assumptions you know based on what observations uh, have you come to this conclusion that you know this is how it's done right so uh is it in yeah, is it in kolkata yeah. you're yes, talking about yes i got about... some of the best thing yeah it's in in city our city so i have seen many times and many churches mm. so some kind of thing it came in my mind so okay then since you observe that um see because in your research you will ha- have to you know mention like everything has to be has to have some kind of data or proof um like when you say okay this is what is happening in the world um you will have to present some information okay th- based on what you've seen based on what you've studied about based on you know whatever articles you have read and also you know mention that right so um so that is something that you need to do um to say that okay this is the condition okay so this is what is happening in in the world right now or even when when you're saying the world you know that's why i said you know if you're talking about how to take it to the nations uh you need to you know you're actually give bringing in a solution right you're bringing in something saying okay this is a problem it's not happening in the right way now i want to suggest from scripture uh you know this is this could be an effective way or this is a better way right so for you to say that something is not happening correct uh, correctly or something is not happening in the right manner you would have to uh you know you would have to present some facts right so this is what i've observed okay fine now, even that has to be a little more specific okay right i've observed maybe for so many years or i've been part of this church or this particular <clears throat> denomination it's done this way because even in kolkata you know there could be many other churches or many other house fellowships um who are you know whom we we may not know of who are actually doing a good job you know in uh, in reaching a certain group of people and maybe they are you know they are moving in signs and wonders and miracles and supernatural and and uh, which we may not know of right so so that is why uh you know you need to be a little more specific and say okay in this village or in this city this is what i have observed over the years or in this city and village after i i you know got in touch with these pastors or spoke after i spoke to some of the you know leaders um i see that this is the condition or you know i've read about i've read some of these articles i've re- i've researched some of uh, you know uh, in i've research, i've done a research on the church in in um, you know in calcutta and this is what i've found out these are the number of churches which are here you see, you see the kind of um, you know uh, if you go into the specifics in order to say that this is an issue this is a problem uh, you'll have to actually go a little deeper and present it because otherwise you know we might ask a question like okay so how many churches did you check so when you say the church in calcutta has a problem or if you say the church at large has a problem so based on what do you say that right so that could be a question and uh, you know you need to have some uh, facts so that's why i'm saying you know it's it's it will be good if you can define the scope okay now we have about 3 months so um, can you take your maybe your city or a certain denomination um or uh you know a certain geographical territory and and say okay this these people or these churches can do a better job because first of all you need to actually see what is it that they are doing how is it that they are doing and see okay are they is there evangelism is there outreach uh, or are they just coming and meeting every sunday and going you know because there could be many churches right there could be several denominations they could be like you have the ag you have the cni you have the baptist presbyterian uh, methodist you know all these and they all have their unique way of you know uh, 
doing things maybe some some may not do certain things which the other denominations are doing so it would help to find out and then present your case now this information you can find out either through research you know you can uh, go to their website and then you can see okay this is what this church is doing this is what these churches are doing uh, i see that there is not no mention of you know evangelism there is no mention of sharing the gospel um, there's nothing like that at all so yeah, or maybe you can watch the live stream now all the services are online you can watch the online service and see what is it that they are you know are they doing anything online to reach the the gospel what does the website say so you can find out that information and then say okay this is what is happening it's more of theory and not practice and this is what we need to do okay now that would be a research right and that would be something when you're presenting it would be with facts it would be with it will be very relevant uh, and it'll be a real place right uh, and it'll be something that's um, authentic and real and you know something that will help solve also you know whatever recommendations you bring in from the word from the book of acts like you mentioned and it will make a big difference okay. so so that is the direction um, that i you know suggesting okay Kevin. so so based on that your title will also change right okay so you work on that okay um, so kiran i'm uh, sorry not kiran kannan gospel between paniyas right so so that uh, title can you can change it you know based on what we are going to what you are going to do um okay you mentioned that you want to research about this particular community um and uh, uh and and find out what is the work there so you you made a statement saying okay um we have gospel reach but not uh, there's still many more people who don't even know about the lord right so so you can um, you also it's good that you mentioned the towns uh, you mentioned about athipalli and uh, godulur and all these things and so so you can visit you can check but all you need to do is um, you know you can check about you can change the title you can say a study on this particular group okay um, called this thing uh, i mean this paniyas and how what they doing in order to bring um, bring about change or you uh, know what what the church is doing you know how is uh, how are the churches reaching out um to that group so you can talk about that and of course you can talk about their practices you can talk about uh, what is their world view right you can talk about their economic status you can talk about um you, what kind of work do they do you know all this can come in the research you can you can say these are um this is how you know this is they've been here for these many years um, you can go back into the you know historical uh, uh data uh, or reports there and say, say okay, these are the kind of people these are the practices um this is their world view and uh, these are some of the challenges they face um and uh, you know some of some of them might communally you know uh, community wise sorry community wise there could be certain challenges certain certain uh, certain things that as a community that they're facing you know like maybe the men are not working or the men are drinking or, or or you know even otherwise maybe the women have certain kind of challenges issues so you know you can talk about that and you can talk about okay uh, who are the people who are actually doing uh, commendable work when did the work actually start who are the people who are doing the work what kind of work are they doing and then you find the gap okay um, so this is this is what they're doing and maybe you can even think about uh, you can even you know in your observation in your study you see that okay this this work they are doing but then it is only going so far what is missing is this right you you can bring in uh, that solution that finding and uh, so that would be uh, so it, so your title would be like a study on you know such and such a community and etc yeah yeah and uh, study on paniyas but uh, it needs to be yeah i see your comment here you're saying if you change my title like study on paniyas but study on paniyas is just one part of it right what is it that you want to um, do think about it right i don't want to suggest anything now but you you think about it take time and then you know you can make the change to the title right okay um so then 
we have uh, yeah so aaron you uh, you said okay leadership and authority in the church again that title um doesn't say much about um what kind of church where right and and what the research is about um so so that would be something that you need to think about Aaron. right you said leadership and authority in the church now which church um is it the global church or and and when i go through the draft i see that it's um it's typically about you know in the area in wh wherever you are and it's talking about uh, some of them some of the leaders right so i know you've also mentioned uh, that uh, um uh you're going to kind of look into their life stories so the thing is um yeah it'll be good to mention that you know uh, leadership and authority is what you said okay leadership and authority in the church now so that's the title will can be a little misleading right because it says leadership and authority in the church so you need to say okay in the church in you know uh, in uh, kohima or in um you know or in what kind of church also you know i'm sure that uh, you, specifically you're talking about this particular church or is it something that you observed in you know all the other churches also some of the other tribes and other churches uh, and is it a presbyterian church is it an independent you know something like that i'm just giving you some ideas so um no problem erin so you you're able to hear what i'm saying um are you able to yeah okay fine so so these are some things that you need to think about okay so specifically so you write down okay what is it you you can no problem you just write down okay what is it that you want to do actually you want to find out about the leaders and the kind of lives that they led now how many leaders are there you know if it's going to be just one leader uh then you can say okay i want to you know look into this life uh you know ministry uh entire thing you know right from how they started you know, of this particular leader or if it's going to be a group of leaders okay you study that and you're you're saying okay this is this is how they lived their lives this is how they you know carried about their leadership role and and this is the authority that they um, you know whatever they did with that authority uh, maybe you're going to talk about the good bad and the ugly you know and maybe they abused the authority maybe they did not they used it rightly so you can talk about that um and so where are you going with that you know uh, so you think about okay now i've i've talked about that but what is it that you want to um, you know bring to the to the present time you know if you add that it'll be good so in the present time if you see these things are missing that also you need to give some facts you need to give some evidence right um because you just can't say okay this is missing in the church um because the, then the question is how can you say that or based on what are you making that statement right how do you say that is it because somebody told you or you know uh, you know as friends maybe you were discussing and and somebody just mentioned hey you know the church is bad or church this church so so you need to be able to present okay um find out and say okay these are some things happening these are real life issues some challenges you don't have to mention names if it's uh, something that's sensitive um but you can you can definitely narrate you know these are things that have happened or that's happening um and so they need to you know whatever change that needs to happen uh you can mention that and say you know these are these are people who live their lives like this even with limitations so you can you kind of you know bring that um to a close um yeah so that would have a little more um a, a little more a little more meat to the whole thing you know rather than just the life study you know if you're studying the life okay 
that also you need to what you know what is it that you're going to look at the testimony is are there some real life instances that we can learn from and when did it happen how did it happen how do they handle it so these are you know these are this is information that you need to find out right and you mentioned how you're going to do that you mentioned that you're going to be talking to them talking to the families um uh, talking to their grandchildren right which is good um also um um yeah so you you talked about that and also your own personal experience right that you've been serving um so you're going to be talking about that also so hopefully those interactions etc so you know so leadership and authority in the church doesn't talk about all that you know all that uh, uh, research right uh, so you need to change it what is it about that um is it about a particular time that you're talking about in the 60s or you know and what church um that also you need to be specific uh, we can say okay this happened here and then this is something that all of us can learn from something on those lines is also uh, good right okay um then we have um okay so prince prince uh, uh, talked about uh, again something similar to what kanan is doing uh, it's about a group of uh, you know group of people so you mentioned okay what religion culture practices what they believe how they differ uh, okay and um, oh that's good by the time of the, the british period uh you're going to talk about that also um okay so that's uh, that's good uh, prince so interviews websites um like who who how the gospel reached them okay so you're going to talk about that also and the life of a you know a believer who is from this particular you know particular tribe <coughs> how is it okay um so so the, so you see if that title can be you know improved upon the christian life of a santal is uh, is okay yeah it's 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 okay but uh, you see how you can uh, improve upon that and you know that will be helpful uh, friends yeah but your um, you know how you're going to do that and all that is good um, okay so let's look at um, i think thomas um, share so thomas if i remember it's uh, you're talking about revival in karnataka right so uh, so you can you can do a you can say a, a study on like the past revivals or something like that um in karnataka because you're you know you're talking about the past uh, or even like revival in karnataka seems to be uh, okay you know uh, uh, but you are also how how can you know uh, what is going to happen you know something of that sort is also uh what you're going to be presenting right how can we bring about so you're going into the past you're seeing what are the moves of god and um, you also mentioned about uh, somebody from you know one of your relatives okay from the traditional church and um how they accepted christ etc what happened uh so you're going to be looking uh, looking into that so that is good um yeah so yeah so so you're saying karnataka so which will um, you know you can probably look at okay uh, what are the you know what are the districts you know you you take a map what are the districts in karnataka how you know how is the um, and you can study about revival you know but that's going to be a, a lot of information but there there is information i'm sure about uh, you know about the churches how about the missionary work and i'm sure libraries if you have access to libraries in 
um, some online library or even like SIAX and SABC, they might have books. I'm not sure. Uh, they might have something, some information on this, which um, uh, I don't know if you have access to it, but um, yeah, it's it's worth trying. Uh, maybe you can even check uh, our own, um, you know, church uh, church office library uh, and see if there's any information about past uh, moves of God and particularly in Karnataka. So yeah, so that would be the way to go about it. And um, and maybe about something about the present and future. If you present, it'll be good. You know, what did they do, or when the move of God was happening? I know we know that. You know, as we've studied the Bibles and visitations, we know that um, the move of God is uh, is sovereign, right? But we know that God just pours out His Spirit. And, but we also see that the that the church or the body of believers. Um, you know, continue to hunger and thirst for revival. They prayed, and in some cases, they prayed for decades. They prayed for a century, even. And like we, when we, uh, you know, when we study about the Shillong, what happened in Shillong, uh, we see that the church was actually, you know, hungering and thirsting for the presence of God, for the outpouring of God, and they, they would pray the young and old, and even though they didn't, you know, they didn't see anything. Uh, happening during their lifetime, they continue to pray. They continue to seek God, uh, and all that investing and you know sowing and prayer uh, really paved the path for you know for that revival that they the church experienced. So, and something on those lines, and uh, you know how to really sustain that move of God in the churches, right? So, so it's a lot of work. <laughs> Thomas just wanted to think of that There's a lot of reading, a lot of work, but um, I'm sure you can do that. Right. Okay. So, um, so true, Sid, Pastor. sorry, Thomas. Sorry. That's true. It's small, but it has a lot of uh, research and studies of things and all. And I have a lot yeah. of work, I guess. When I started, yeah. only I yeah. understood. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. So, yeah. So you break it down, break the entire state into different. Um, you know, districts, and that'll be, that'll actually give you some more focus. You can, you know, go into each district, what is happening in each district, and, and then you can find, get some information on it. Yeah. Because each, uh, each geographical territory will also have its own, you know, uh, challenges. Um, yeah. Some will be lukewarm, maybe like, a, I don't know, maybe a city church, you know, maybe a, a I'm just, you know, assuming some lukewarmness is not there. They are really hungry, and so we can, yeah, look into that. Okay, so fine. So, um, so Dev, Sid, Neelam, uh, by end of day, please uh, send it. You can either upload it on the stream, like what Thomas did, or you can email it to me. I think you, all of you, have my email ID: jayakumar.isaya. A-S-A-I-A-H at A-P-C-W-O dot O-R-G J-E-Y-A-K-U-M-A-R dot I-S-A-I-A-H at A-P-C-W-O dot O-R-G So you can either email me or uploading it. Uploading it on the stream is fine. Um, for those of you who are watching um, e-learning, uh, I think the best is to just email me um, and I'll, I'll receive it. Right. Okay, so continue to work on this, right? And also uh, one last thing before we um, before you wind up is that you work on how to um, ex uh, you know express what you're thinking in writing, right? Whatever you're observing, how how can you you know express it effectively in words when you're writing, right? So like when you spoke, okay, you explained, and and when you're writing it, it needs to be uh, without error, you know, without grammatical mistakes. And I understand, you know, the challenges, language challenges, but um, but you need to work on it, right? And uh, in, when I was reading the draft, I saw that, okay, these are some challenges. So um, it's not that it cannot be overcome, but you need to work on it. Okay, so, so try writing a page every day about something you've written, um, something you've read, Okay, maybe you, uh, you, you've done your quiet time, and you read through a portion of scripture, and maybe there were some things that you know you learned from it, or uh, 
you know, understood. And it can even be, you know, what we are studying in Galatians, in Galatians chapter one. Okay, you, you went through it and you understood some things, you know, whatever you understood, so those five or six points that you learned, try writing it down, you know, explaining it, right? Um, and of course, you're doing it uh, in English and it could be challenging for some, but try doing that. Okay, now, uh, and how are you going to explain it clearly? How are you going to explain it, um, you know, without any error? So you might have to, you know, do a couple of drafts, right? Write it once, see how does it look? Um, you know, have I explained it well? Do I understand it? Will others who read understand it? You know, are, are those points explained very well? Um, and you, you know, rewrite it. Which are the places that I can change? So this is a this will be a very useful exercise for you to um, get into the habit of um, expressing yourself in writing. Okay, because you'll need it when you do the research. Maybe someone, you know, uh, maybe you have a questionnaire and you you're putting the data together, and then you come to a conclusion. You need to express that. Right? This is what I found out, and this is what. Um, you know, this is the conclusion that I've reached, or this is the recommendation. You need to be able to express that, right, in writing. So this will be a good exercise if you do this every day, right? You're reading the Bible every day. After reading, you know, take 10 minutes. It, now, it might be longer. It might You might need maybe 20 minutes, 30 minutes to actually uh, write it down, right? So um, check that out. And like I said, if when when you start writing the report, uh, Grammarly is a, is a good tool to use. Um, please check that out online. It's a it's a there's a, there is a free uh, you know free uh, uh, it's a free tool, but it, some of these features you need to you know you might have to pay for it. But then the you can the, the free thing is itself is okay. You can use that. And it will it will suggest corrections, grammatical errors. So you learn to you know it's it's online. If you're writing it online, if you're writing uh, you know on your using your computer on a Word doc, um, this will be helpful. Okay. So so work at it so that you can get better at it, and it will it will be useful uh, for you to when you uh, you know present and submit your uh, project report. Okay. Okay. So next class we will uh, let's uh, let's discuss further about your titles, about your uh, you know about your work, uh, and see where um, you know where it's heading. Okay. And probably in next class we will also try to do some exercises. You know, for some of you who are who are able to write well, maybe it's you know it, it'll be a time for you to even get better at it. Um, yeah. We'll see how we can do. Maybe we'll watch a video. And you have to write some observations about it. Okay, so next class we'll try that out. Okay, so we'll stop here. Okay, thank you guys. Uh, so yeah, have a wonderful Republic Day. Pray for the country. Um, and uh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, All right. Thank you. Take care. God bless. Bye bye.